Open Heavens on the Go, Sunday, November 20th, 2022. Topic, Never Forget His Mercies. Memory Verse, Psalm 103, 2. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Bible reading, Psalm 103, 1 to 5. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfied thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. The message. In our Bible reading today, David said his soul must never forget God's benefits, and then he began to list those benefits for us. One of the greatest failings of Christians is that they quickly forget the benefits of the Most High God. If somebody wakes up in the morning and begins to shout, Praise the Lord! Glory be to God! So loudly that the neighbors gather to ask him what happened, and then he responds, I'm thanking God for the safe delivery of my wife three years ago. They will begin to wonder if he is in need of a psychiatrist. However, if somebody wakes up early in the morning and begins to weep and wail over the death of her husband 10 years ago, people will say, oh, sorry, we understand. It is the nature of man to remember evil things and forget the good, but as a Christian, you are a new creature, so you should do the opposite. That popular hymn says, count your blessings, name them one by one. It is dangerous when you find it difficult to thank God for what he has done. Some years ago, I was preparing the sermon for a New Year Thanksgiving service, and I remember saying to God, Daddy, it's just the two of us now. May I speak like a son to his daddy? He said, Go ahead. I went on. Lord, I am going to encourage your children to praise you for what you did for them in the passing year. But between you and me, we know that you didn't do anything for me. I began to lay out all the things I had expected in the course of the year, but didn't get. The Lord then interrupted and told me to get a notebook. He asked me to write the answers to the questions he will be asking me. He began, how many times did you travel this year? I said, many times. How many times did you have an accident? I responded, no. He continued, more than 360 days have gone by in this year. How many times did you sleep and wake up? Do you know how many people slept and didn't wake up? How many times were you hungry in the past year? Are you aware that there are people in the hospital who want to eat but have no appetite? I quickly interrupted him because I had become very afraid as I realized how ungrateful I had been. No matter how bad things may look, don't forget his mercies. Prayer point. Spend quality time thanking God for all his mercies towards you. Spend quality time thanking God for all his mercies 
towards you. Bible reading in one year, Acts 10 to 11. Hymn for today, when upon life's billows, you are tempest tossed. The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.